I'm at Sunnybrook Hospital, guys. This is a list of doctors that they have here. Let's see if it's fake. It looks like a piece of paper put in here before I got here. Psychiatrists, assistants, and offices. This whole thing is fake. Look at the sheet of paper that's stuck in there. It looks like it was just printed out. So, Adult Ambulatory Services. It's the wording they use too. A lot of sexual insinuation, birth, women, um, psychological warfare in terms of anxiety, depression, schizophrenia. Um, so it's the underworld, pretty much. Whenever you get microchipped, you go into the underworld where everything gets switched for you. Me, I was born with a family that brought me into it, so I won't know the difference. See, psychiatry, I mean, there are, they have everything, but it's an underworld designed of a certain group of people that want to rule the world and get rid of the others. So, Center for Youth Bipolar Disorder. Well, you, they're the ones giving them bipolar disorders. Guarantee you, 90% of these things were not here. Most of it is psychological warfare. It's an underworld. Right through a microchip. You get microchipped, you get brought into this underworld where everything gets flipped. And it's a bunch of people promised to, part of the Freemasonic entity too, that they're the ones who will survive after they eliminate all the other ones which are oblivious to this evil sneaky tactic of draining someone not noticeable to the human eye it's all fake everything was put in not all of it but there's a lot of stuff to distract you too
Now these guys will talk loud to keep the tuck, 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 tuck on you and move. Look at his hand, the hand gestures. I have to create movement. Wheelchair is ready there for me to look at. Rubbing engines. So what just happened here, the talking, the moving hand, the revving the engine, all the cars going back and forth, people coming in, people coming out, closing their umbrellas when I look at them, opening umbrellas, going into cars, you see all the action wheelchair, ta -ta 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 ta 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 now that's nothing, but go through this all day long in every single place you enter, plus other things added that you didn't see here, my whole trail is like this, ta 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 I get home, I got nothing left in me. All the movement, the noise, constant motion, constant noise, constant depressing things in front of you, constant negative energy, constant stalking, constant cars moving back and forth, noises, trucks. That's the machine you're surrounded with. It's a noise motion machine. Everything moving, moving, and ta 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 and psychological warfare. You look at a sign that reminds me of your disease. You look at this, it's the, 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 the girlfriend you lost. You look at that, you get it? Ta 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 ta. You don't have cigarettes, people start smoking right outside all of them. You just finished your smoke, you see another guy smoke a cigarette. Whatever, it's a point. You finished your coffee, you see another one smoke coffee, drink coffee with you. You're not alone. I can never do an action and be alone. If I go by a Mars chocolate bar right away, I walk outside, a girl's coming eating a Mars chocolate bar and she'll make sure I see it. So this is the psychological warfare added on all the ta 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 and the coughing and people standing in front of you and talking loud and they're sneezing behind you and coughing. <coughs> Ta, 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 ta. You see? Everywhere you go. Garbage, people talking. Always conversation around you everywhere you go. Ta, 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 ta. People moving their heads, standing up when you look at them. See the motion that happened in that area when I looked at it? That's how you know. Look at all the movement. It's the only way you can find out. Otherwise, you can't. Look at all the movement. These people moving their heads, their arms. Now they cut down on the movement. You don't see it as much, but they're still moving. Now someone's going to cross in front of me, come make a coffee or go over there. That's how it is. Doc, did you hear that closet shot? Look at these two pointing. Now then I'm looking at them. <clears throat> Look at this one here. Now I'm looking at them. That's how it is. More people pacing, crossing in front of me. As soon as I came in, tuck, they just shut the cupboard. This one just walked. Watch here, they're gonna move their arms. See how they move their arms? Because it's when you turn and look at somebody right away. Now, if I turn that way, you'll see movement. See, as soon as I turn, the guy scratches his head over there. These two walked in front of me. Those guys are looking at me. That's how it is. Tuck, 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 tuck. Noise and movement, noise and motion, noise and motion, and people talking. And it's not just the people. They look a certain way, they represent something to you. They either represent the disease or represent something from your past by the way they're dressed or they look like a relative that, that you've known back in the days that tortured you, whatever. So you're surrounded in this environment that's ritualistic, that's supposed to drain you of every single ounce of energy. I see the pointing. And look how, listen to how loud they're talking. Right away, as soon as I stood here in the last two, three minutes, they stressed me out. Ta -ta 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 -ta. My whole environment's like this From the time I leave my house till the time I get back And I see the same things over and over again Garbage trucks, garbage everywhere Wheelchairs, butts uh, Holding hands, uh, people stressed out People talking, people moving Lots of colors um, Coughing Bad smells, on my trail dirt On the floor uh, you, you guys seen all, you've seen all my videos that's how it is. Garbage bins everywhere I go, cleaning stuff. I get to an establishment, they start to clean. I come here, they move, they grab a coffee to create most movement in front of me while I'm looking that way. Gotta have an excuse to create movement. Otherwise, I'll still be looking at all these people over there, they'll start moving. Look, that's how it is. 
see how noisy it got. Look at the cupboard. How many times did it get shut or the door? Tuck, 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 tuck. Ta 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 Look, look, look. Look, look at the pony over here, over there. Ta 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 That's how it is. But I want to show you this is happening in Sunnybrook Hospital where these people standing there at the information desk are not real. These are not the actual people that work here. I want you guys to see that. Watch how things activate now when I go over there. So someone was flipping through the newspaper pages really fast without even looking at them. Their intention is not to look at the newspaper or use their phone. Their intention is to move when I look at them. As soon as I turned that way, show your phone, she typed on the keyboard and moved her head up. It's a ritual. There's nothing functioning in this hospital anymore. These are not real people, real patients. These are not real um, workers that work here. These are not the, the real, real, real professionals. No way. You know what I mean? Not just them, even the janitor that normally works here has nothing to do with this. So you're getting replaced with this group that comes in that only works in the underworld. They get paged, they come out of their house, they come to the hospital because you're there to do the ta-ta-ta-ta-ta to you. They're trained. It's a setting, it's a ritual. So now, for example, if they wanted me to go up, for example, this elevator, they will bring someone either really attractive or whatever for you to go up with her you get it but, but it's your setting you know what i mean uh, down no actually i want to go up oh, okay. so thanks so you see it's to bring in someone that you may look at and find attractive for example and then they know you want to go up but that person's going to go down so you end up coming in and out now when I go up, it'll stop on the, every single floor. It won't here, but I'm giving you examples of what happened to me in the past. Huge people walk in, clog up the elevator. You can't move in there. You can't do anything. You'll come out. Kids are screaming. Ta 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 ta. You get it? So the whole setting is just a, a machine of energy drainage. It's an energy robbery machine. Now, I know I've mentioned all those things before. The reason why I like to mention them again is I want to show you that this is happening at Sunnybrook Hospital where there's no more real doctors here, no real patients, just people trained to come and do the ta-ta-ta-ta-ta to you. And they're the misfits of society that don't get real jobs out there, don't know how to do anything. In general, not all of them, but in general, like the majority, maybe 80%. And it's always these dirty looks towards you, always these... You know, there's nothing real here, guys. Nothing. Just a bunch of stalkers and knowyers that are part of this ta 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 ta, -ta team and want to come here and show you the way they look because they look strange or the way they act or, you know, get someone to film in front of you over there, look and smile and talk. I always get that. It's a distraction tool, but still, whether it's supposed to be imitating or whatever, so you don't function anymore. You don't come here and do what you were meant to do. You just come here, you get all wrapped up with the ta-ta-ta-ta-ta, you start filming it and explaining on video like I'm doing right now. But what I came here to do today is to get a feel of where we are in the game. How can I see a doctor here when I have this ta-ta-ta-ta crew? What am I going to tell the ta-ta-ta crew? I'm microchipped, you guys are ta 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 me? I know it sounds Filipino now, eh? ta 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 me. <laughs> but I mean come on guys let's think about it what can I do here it's just to come and test the waters you know I had to do important things I screwed up but it's okay we'll do them tomorrow it's no big deal and that's it I'm waiting for the rain I was gonna leave but it's raining so we're surrounded with the ta 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 group they all leave when I leave look look they're coming because you have to create busyness for you guy moves you have to move. You have to create movement for the person as they're coming towards you. How do they know how to do that? I don't know, guys. <laughs> yeah, they get trained. They go to ta 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 university, and they get a ta 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 degree. And some of them have master's degree in ta 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 ta. So if you look at the, um, these are the misfits of society, guys. They created a world for them where they could be employed and make money. And this world created for them is a part of a, a torture world designed to torture one person who comes in 
and each one of them does something very minimal, very minimal. All you have to do, let's say they got you to stand over there with your wife, is hold her hand, smile, and then point. And then I look that way, I walk out, that's his job, it's done. Two seconds, three seconds, but there's a zillion of them. So you're the one who pays the price more than anything. They come in, they do easy work, they get paid. You end up getting tortured with every single one of them with a small tacky. So, this is going to be, I don't know, let's see what we're going to do this month, maybe my new home. I'm going to have to come here every day to test and see how much I can make this hospital dysfunctional. You want to come out of this maze inside of a hospital, because this is the place where you need to jump on a real doctor and tell him, take out my microchips. That's the best way to come out of this maze. You don't want to come out of, uh, you know, and the beauty of this bubble around here, it's the area, it's the neighborhood. This is a very rich neighborhood. Not to say that rich people are not ta 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 taki. I'm pretty sure, you know, up the ranks, uh, a lot of the people that are up there, it's mostly Freemasons. Um, they pretty much hold the whole system by the balls. And I know what kind of war I face, you know? This is just one entity you don't want to go against. But in my situation, I know that it ain't the whole entity that's going to try to prevent me. It's a small entity here that has this setup that can only do so much. And if the situation gets out of hand, they will let it go. I know. So, but you're dealing with people that are on the bottom of that pyramid. So this entity that's doing this to me here in Toronto, they're on the bottom of the pyramid. You're talking, uh, so basically this project, how does it start my project? The elites come up with an idea to do this, mind control to someone who's an orphan, because he doesn't know anything else, he hasn't seen in real life yet. They entrap him into this ta -ta 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 underworld with the people around him, his family, fake family and everything. And then when he gets of age, it happened to be that there's technology. Once you stick that chip in him, then you have nothing to worry about. He's stuck into this setup, ta -ta 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 world. As soon as he comes out of his house or opens his eyes, they all go take their positions. They empty the places of real people. By the time you get there, you don't meet no real person. All you do is you meet this ta -ta 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 crew. Whether you're buying a burger or a coffee, you're coming to the hospital, whatever. In the end, if it's necessary for you to do a surgery, for example, what do they do? You meet a so-called doctor who's a ta -ta -ta tucker, but then when you're inside the surgery with the anesthesia on and you're passed out, a real doctor will come in and operate on you. Because there is no real doctor that's a ta -ta -ta tucker. No real doctor would do this. Unless he's one of them, and there are very few of those. They only use them for my particular case. So this is where we are. The idea is to make this whole area dysfunctional by me coming here covertly. It's not my intention, but I, that's what they're doing to me to keep me imprisoned. It has to be dysfunctional or I can't be in prison like school bus. I haven't seen those in a while. Now they're gonna bombard me with them today. Okay, guys, it's Sunnybrook. This sign, was it here before I got here? Yes, this one, yes. This one, maybe. It makes sense, no, it should be here. They have to put it in a place where I tell people not to smoke. Is it as soon as you get in it? That one could have been there only, and these ones they could have stuck them before I got here. You gotta remember, too much of everything is unnecessary, and it's just cloggy. Everywhere you turn, there's a sign, there's red, there's writing, there's things, boom, 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 boom. It's everywhere, it's cluttery. You don't look at anything decent. Calm. Just boom, 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 everywhere you go. So that's what the ta 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 ta, -ta crew does. Now, if I turn sometimes this way quickly, you see right away someone spitting into the garbage bin he doesn't wait till I look at him no I'm turning before my eyes land on the guy I'll see the spit coming out of his mouth how did he know but they're connected to you as soon as you turn not even my head just my eyes I look that way they do it quickly they're ready set in their position now what was I supposed to do how is that element hurting me dish 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 door shutting standing there the whole time talking walking here taking that's how it is because if this happens to you everywhere you go over it the operation, the way it looks. 
they can't make too much noise. They can bring in construction here and drill on. They can, but it'll look the, the distorted, too distorted. So he's tapping on the holding hands things, but it's okay. It's blank, guys. Not that that. You see, don't misunderstand. They're very, very, very tiny, tiny, tiny needles that with enough of them, a thousand and two thousand, they will get to you. That's the problem with this. It's very sneaky. It's not. It's very, very sneaky because its effectiveness, when you notice it, it's, it's not effective doesn't do anything but when you're entrapped in it and it's being done on you over and over and over and over and over and over that's mind control that's brainwash it's using the right amount of tactics and repeating them over and over and over as many times as it takes to drain that person off their energy it's 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 a slurpee it's a it's a, it's a straw it's 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 a leech that's sucking out your 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 it's like i said i've been being used as a battery to an entity that has a reason to live and work now and create a life that without me, without me being present in this operation, this entity won't even get a job. They won't know how to do two plus two. This is... Now, they're bringing in a lot more people from the top on the higher levels that they wouldn't have brought to public back in the days because of their desperation. They need to keep me capped. There's too much boiling lava down there. They're doing, they're doing the impossible. They're bringing the most important ice cubes that they have and throwing them on their bigger ones that they think higher level, higher quality one that they could use as mind control in order to convince me that everything's like this. Also, with the with their quality, so it works in both ways. It's not working. It never did. Blank. Everything's blank. Once you take this out of the equation, the border. At least I'm not gonna say it's easy, but at least you'll be able to move forward because this is designed for you not to be able to move forward so every time you hit the border the wall if you if this is designed to weaken your punch so by the time you hit the wall the punch is not effective you hit it for nothing you keep on hitting the wall the wall is still the same when you take this out of the equation this stuff then every punch will become effective you start to weaken the wall that's how this works the person who designed this maze knows that So here's a big problem here. A huge project done covertly for so many years in a mind control experiment and with microchips, to, with the paint, painting of the future for the elites. Um, worked perfectly until I woke up last year. It was a huge problem. And they've been trying to get rid of it for the last year. And it hasn't been working. And it's becoming a bigger problem because they realize that the person that they did it to is a genius and one tough motherfucker and can't be tricked anymore now he can be annoyed so what to do now i don't see a to be honest with you for me a huge light at the end of this tunnel i don't care but i do see a huge light do you know what my light is mopping the floor with them light not go my light my goal is to escape this prison. I don't want to mop the floor with anybody. But if that's impossible for me, at least on the way, I can mop the floor with them. That's my light at the end of the tunnel. To at least, not just to show the people on top, to convince humanity that's done this for so long of what their value is, of what they've done, of who's really a mockery. But you have to make those statements and that's it. I don't want to exert too much energy into this, but, you know, it's overall, that's what it is. That's my light at the end of the tunnel. You know, considering the fact that I won't be able to escape this eventually, my driving force is that. And taking into consideration the options and small percentage of being able to escape it. That's my driving force. That's the only thing you got. So you see from the back now, the guy who passed by over there, 
I heard from him the noise, what? Then I had to look back to see that short skirt, to see those legs. But you see, this this what happened right now in the last minute, that was a ta 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 talking this, that, looking at that in my situation. The cop over there whistling to add to the noise aspect. They have to create a covert way to make noise for me without it looking obvious. How? They create a lot of traffic. They bring in a couple of cops to pretend they're directing people in traffic and whistling. It's all meaningless, all useless. There's no point of it. But they have to create the noise element for you covertly to get you out of here. How can they get me out of here and annoy me enough to leave? Beep, beep. Now every two seconds I'll hear a whistle. Look at that. And the repetition of the annoyance of that I'm deprived from a woman. See? Eh, 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 eh. Imagine now you're listening to that for the next God knows how long. FedEx trucks, school buses. He hit me with another one. So because I paid attention to the whistle, I noticed the FedEx trucks. And now this. this see, you get weakened already. Now the page doesn't appear too blank. You see how this works? It does to me because I'm strong. And another weapon. Do you look at that? Why isn't he on the leash? How come she's not holding it? You're paying attention to it. You're getting dragged into it. Now I get a phone call. 1-877-788-1751. I don't even know who this is. Another weapon. He wants to make the page appear. It's blank. It's still calling that number. Now someone screamed, yo, over there. The page is still blank, guys. It's still blank. This is one blank page. Nobody's going to put one dot of pencil on it. <laughs> like the one they put in my eye, maybe, or <clears throat> another one. So, now if you sit here before, look at the annoying thing that appeared out of nowhere now. Eh, 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 eh. Look at the way he's whistling. He's not even whistling once, twice. Listen to how annoying that is. How could you covertly create noise in front of a respectable hospital? How? With that stupid whistle. And bring in your crew to make traffic. Imagine a hospital like this for an hour. Fucking Manhattan is not like this. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, guys. He has no choice. He has to create those elements. They have to have to get me out of here. This is a comfortable place. It looks too obvious. It's on the street. People are walking. 10,000 people in and out like a bunch of zombie army. Rituals waiting inside to happen for me to walk in there. Pulling out some rituals on me out here. Garbage truck. Oh, we got a garbage truck. I haven't seen one in a while. Listen, listen to the noises. Sorry, next time. Have a good day. This is a ritual, guys. But it's still blank to me, you know. It'll always be blank. But that's the idea. It's to keep it blank. If you can sit from within this and keep it blank, spend nine hours, go back home with almost, you're going to lose a bit, that's okay. Let's say you got a 100% tank, you're going to go back with 98, 96, but not 50 and 40 because then you're not winning. Your punch is not a, taking the wall down. By the time your punch is getting to the wall, it's not effective enough for it to make a difference. They're empty bullets, it's an empty punch. So once you dismantle this, then every time you hit the wall with a strong punch, you're putting cracks in it. But you have to dismantle this. So you have to see this as a blank page. Or you're not putting cracks into that wall. You never exit. And that's how it works. Green shirts and everything. Yeah. That's how it is, guys. Now the phone is still recording. I still got some smokes. Now I'll lose the battery power. I won't be able to record much. I'll lose the smokes and then hell will break loose around me on the way home it will be a dancing uh, in the bus and everywhere let me make sure i have enough memory one second guys look at what happened when i shut it off it's only been a minute a plane passed by people screaming people running with their tags and short shorts and we're gonna see porno stars here soon at the hospital guys san fernando valley <laughs> not that disrespect those women or say anything bad it's just you guys know how my settings are that's why and there's nothing wrong with that I actually don't mind having that in my environment but it's to point out the elements that they're using in a row and how they're effective how they're effective implementation of the wind the plane listen plane and mister they made him stop it why because I mentioned 
Hey guys, my phone's dying. I have five minutes and 37 seconds on this. I was gonna tell you something before I got home. I left the hospital just after I stopped recording. So movement and noise, guys, motion, too much motion when you look at it, or lots of noise when you hear it, not lots or little, in general, it sucks energy out of you. So it's an energy sucking machine. So because I'm a high energy powered individual, they've surrounded me with a machine that sucks my energy. So I had it right when I said it's a ritual of feeding, leeching of your battery power. So the movie, The Matrix, is pretty much exactly taken from this experiment. The Truman Show, uh, Dark City, Groundhog Day, everything is the same every day. So all the movies are taken from this experiment pretty much. Or the main idea or message of the, all those movies could be taken from this experiment that was done on me. You're a battery, you're an energy source. And by them doing this, they're sucking the energy out of you. First, they have to hold you hostage, captive, because then they won't affect you, which means you have to block someone's road, block someone's way for him not to have a goal. No job, no family, no woman, no kids, no friends, no social life. Once you dismantle all those things, then you can start surrounding him with this machine and drain him of his energy. That's what it does. Movement, noise, uh, bright colors, they're energy draining. They drain your energy. It's a huge energy farm what surrounds me. And to make it, a, uh, uh, to make it work, to make it possible, you need to microchip someone. That's why you get depressed, because it's sucking the energy right out of you, and it's not even touching you. It's affecting your senses. They're attacking your senses. When you hear noise, or you see bright colors, or fast movements, or these are, this is chakra attack, because it incl includes a lot of sex. Or uh, you turn somebody on. When you turn somebody on, you're actually, uh, concentrating they're concentrating that energy on something else than preserving it it's energy draining they want to suck out your energy think about it sorry guys to get this descriptive but when you you know have an orgasm after the orgasm you see how you feel yeah you feel relieved because it's a buildup but it drains your energy it's energy draining so if you're always turned on and always you know whatever doing it or getting that liquid out of you you're draining that buildup of energy in you. So this machine is nothing but attacking all your chakras to suck your energy out of you. So you have no energy to use for something else to fight them with. <coughs> so they surround you with this energy draining machine so you can stay depleted in a state of trance. And psychological warfare too. Bad things, they deplete your energy. I gotta go, my cell is dying and <coughs> I don't think I have that many minutes, but might as well leave a better battery. I'll be in touch with you guys. This guy's color, the turban, the thing, the bright green with all the ensemble here. You see how it sticks out the bright green and the orange and so it's energy draining. It's a battery, using your battery. All this commotion. Didn't work. I didn't get fooled into this express bus. I was busy. So he's gonna send me a couple of express buses because it's not good for me to go home with an express bus. I have to extra walk. So he had all the ensemble ready over there and the bus driver, the woman looking up like that and everything, all the setup, and it didn't work. I didn't get fooled into going into an express bus. That means I'm more concentrated. He's not sucking my energy out even though I'm exerting energy by talking to you guys on the phone. That's a lot of energy being let out. So to them, it's a benefit to, you know, to have me talk all the time. That's why I don't like to do it much anymore, because I preserve my energy. So, oh, this garbage truck smelled like McDonald's. Um, and that's, oh man, it still stinks. He had a nice rotten bag in there on purpose to pass it by me with all this wind blowing. You guys, you know, he blows the wind. So it's a perfect element. Bad smells, all those things, they deplete, they suck energy out of you slowly, like tins and bits and pieces.
look at a bright church right in front of you, movements. They're sucking your energy out. They're leeches. You're being used as a battery, pretty much. Yeah, it's pretty much a, uh, just like you see in the Matrix and all those movies, uh, I'm being used, I'm a strong battery source, uh, quadruple A, and all these elements I'm surrounded with in this machine, they're sucking my energy out so I don't get to use it for something that would benefit me so I can increase my energy levels. So I'm being held in bondage, hostage, in this circle of uh, ritualistic energy sucking, depletion. And it gives incompetent people a goal and to be a part of a group, part of something that they could never be. Usually they're the outcasts in society. They're thrown in corners where people don't want to deal with them because of their energy. And the main idea, not everybody in it is like that, but the majority. And it's ritualistic energy sucking, pretty much. Hey guys. I wanted to show you, today I recorded like four or five hours of footage for you at Sunnybrook Hospital. And now, I want to see what's up there on Sunnybrook Hospital. Hold on, let me put the volume down on this really good, kind of weird song from back in the early 90s. I love it. It's by London Beat. It's called, I've Been Thinking About You. Anyways, check this out. So I type in hospitals in Toronto. What do I get? I get only one video mentioning Sunnybrook because I was at Sunnybrook Hospital today. I have a whole bunch of footage for you, like four or five hours. I'm gonna upload it, I'm working on it now. The time right now is about 8 p.m. 8-8, 8, 8, 2019, August the 8th, 2019. Let's double check and show you something legit. This is RT. Um, Philippines, blah, 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 misdirection and too much information, misdirecting people from the real things that are happening in the world. And the time is, come on, not even this damn thing works anymore. Come on, zoom in properly. All right, 20... 23.51 GMT, August 8, 2019, which is 7.53 p.m. So, I type that in, and this is the result that I get. The reason why I'm showing you Google is because if you notice, if you look at every single one of my videos, and you type the same name or the same content, you will find a whole bunch they won't tell you the time they upload it. They can backdate on YouTube. They're pretty sneaky, these guys. But you'll notice that every single video I upload, the title, there are a lot of other titles with it too. A lot of videos, they're meaningless. Some of them don't even apply to the title because they're trying to compete with me so I don't be seen on Google. They try to bury the truth. That's how you bury the truth. You create a lot of controlled opposition. You give more attention to the controlled opposition and that way the truth gets automatically buried. So, this is the only video that I see when I type in hospitals in Toronto on YouTube about Sunnybrook Hospital. All right, just so we know that. Because you're gonna see a whole bunch more soon with back date 2012, how is that possible? You will see wonders in my world. Anyways, I'll upload this small video for you as an introduction to Sunnybrook Hospital and you will see about four hour footage. Okay guys, see you soon.